Hey everyone, this is Bales. I'm at FanDuel and I wanted to do a lineup review from last night's um, Playboy Mansion qualifier that I was lucky enough to win and uh, take you through my lineup, how I uh, created it and how I used Fantasy Labs. Um, so I won a pretty good sweat over um, Cal from Rotor Grinders uh, and uh, Peter, um, fellow Fantasy Labs co-founder, came in third here. Um, so I had 204 points, um, and re really my strategy, I thought, I thought uni last night was a unique slate, um, and I, I correctly predicted that people were going to be on the Yankees um, quite a bit, and so the first thing I did was uh, basically remove them. Um, in this instance, I, I didn't think the Yankees were a bad play at all, really, um, but I did think that in this particular tournament which was a um it was a five hundred dollar buy-in i believe 32 people i thought that there was going to be a lot of um ownership on the yankees and there there was you can see so cal had ellsbury he was in 43.8 brett garner 21.9 mccann 37.5 um i believe uh to share had really high ownership as well 31.2 um so I thought that it was a, it was a situation to get away from in this particular tournament. Um, not even a regular GBP, just a completely top-heavy payout structure where second place out of 32 um, doubles up, third place wins 875, and then everything is located at the, at the top. So really a good time to be contrarian. So the first thing I did um, on Fantasy Labs yesterday was... Uh, click out of the Yankees who, were, who really were um, uh, across the, the top of my um, models of uh, Yankees players um, throughout their lineup really and uh, I, I didn't think it was I thought it was pretty obvious that other people would recognize that and be on them so um, probably the the best thing that I did yesterday they scored four runs they didn't do too bad um, having only scored four runs but that was probably the smartest move I made, then uh, I went to select my pitcher, um, which is something that I frequently do on FanDuel first. Um, not really stacking as much on FanDuel. You can obviously only use um, four batters. So I like to go four by four or just generally play a um, combination of players who I think are the best. Um, and in tournaments and in especially a qualifier, that's going to be um, upside. Um value in the traditional sense a little bit and then of course ownership so um was really debating between three pitchers last night uh liriano cueto and david price um who were number one two and five respectively in my model i uh, initially had liriano in and, and ended up changing my lineup um I, I think within maybe an hour or so of first the first pitch uh and uh the reason I did that was because, and this is something I'm doing more, I think that, you know, the narrative is to always just play the best pitcher regardless of ownership. And I don't know that that's the case anymore. I think that ownership on batters and stacks is getting more efficient. And I think that the top pitchers are maybe a bit overowned. Um, so even if I thought Liriano was a slightly better play than Price or, or Cueto last night, um, or particularly Price, uh, I don't think that it should have been um, to the extent that in the, the difference in ownership that we saw. So I got Price at 6.2%, which means he was in two of the 32 lineups, whereas um, Cueto was in 21.9, and the Liriano, and Cueto almost came back and beat me, Liriano was in 28.1. So I thought it was close enough, uh, and I didn't think the, the, the difference would be that large. I thought Price would be in more than two. But um, I did think he was going to be lower going against the Royals, who uh, I think are um, you know known for not striking out. But last night in particular, I just thought it was a, a good spot. They um, the Royals were projected at only three point one implied one runs in Vegas. Davis Price obviously has a high K per nine, low WHIP. I thought he's just the best pitcher in the slate. And then the strikeout thing. Um, wasn't it, I thought it was just a moderately uh, a moderate matchup I didn't think it was particularly bad um, so it wasn't like uh, um, 
Pomeranz against the the Giants, who really don't strike out, uh, and so our strikeout per at bat numbers are adjusted not only for the hand that it adjusts for the handedness of the pitcher, the handedness of the batters, and then it also adjusts for um, where the guys are in the order. So um, the strikeout rate of the leadoff hitter is weighed more than everyone else because he's the most likely to get the most at bats, followed by the number two, and so on. And so we adjust for those things, and many times the numbers will. Um, resemble the uh, uh, public opinion on um, on those teams but sometimes they don't and I thought that in this case that was one of those that uh, that made for price um, being uh, not a contrarian play by any means but um just just a smart play given given the ownership and then his cost of ten thousand five hundred um, I don't think there's any doubt Liriano was a better value at five hundred dollars cheaper but uh, basically what I did was was pay that five hundred dollars um, and uh, forego a little bit of value in exchange for that ownership so um, Liriano scored only 27 um, price d- really didn't have a lot of strikeouts only five through seven and a third so he had an okay game um, but he did get the win that's another really big thing on FanDuel 12 points and uh, price was minus 160 to win last night so all that stuff added up for uh for me to roster price um i won't go through the uh through every single pick here my lineup is here on the left but um obviously the 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 most pivotal player for me by far was jay bruce i was the only player to uh roster him he went deep twice rajai davis also went deep twice although he was in 28.1 percent of uh lineups um and then uh Lindor went deep in extras, I think, like the, the 12th twelfth or 13th inning. Um, and so uh, that was really what catapulted me up um, to be able to win. But um, just looking at the Bruce selection, he had 46.6 points. Um, he wasn't super high in my model, I think. Um, he was, let's see... Oh, he he was uh, actually fairly high, and uh, I didn't think that he was going to be... Um, I, I certainly didn't think I was going to be the only person to roster him, but uh, I did know that just getting away from those uh, outfielders in, uh, in New York, um, in particular playing in Arizona in the heat, was probably going to be good. Um, Jay Bruce, 252 ISO, hits righties a lot better than lefties uh and i think the park there is is underrated so we have a park rating of 61 um in cincinnati for left-handed hitters and i think it's 64 or something for righties so that was just a game in general zana obviously with uh with three indians um napoli being the only one who didn't perform well um and uh and uh lindor and uh rajay davis in that game um so I thought I had a good mix here of just good values in players like Gaddis, who I, I thought was probably going to be closer to about 15 to 20% um, with people rostering a lot of McCann. Um, Napoli, who I, I still think was a really good value, Rajai Davis. And then those contrarian plays, um, uh, really only uh, Jay Bruce worked out. Um, Pedro Alvarez was the other player who I rostered, who was um, only in... My lineup, um, in hindsight, um, it was really a salary uh, cap relief thing. I had Pedro Alvarez. He was fourth in my model. Um, I, I didn't have like huge scarcity, so he was he was pretty close to uh, to most of the guys. I uh, the other um, players all being more expensive. I actually was seriously considering um, Lamb there, and I think it was again just a, a salary cap thing. Um, but uh yeah so that was uh sort of my philosophy there it was to eliminate a um a game that i knew everyone was going to be on at the top and uh and i think that that's probably something is something that i've been doing more and and uh and a good strategy just a game that you're not as high on or, or a team um compared to the crowd eliminate el- eliminate those players from your model immediately and then build from there and then you can just basically find values, work in a couple contrarian elements, um, and, uh, and still have a, have a unique lineup, um, just from getting away from the herd there. So, uh, 
yeah, excited for um, the the event. There's a lot of really great players already in it. It's a bunch of uh, pros, so I'll have to uh, to get lucky to get a big cash. But um, that's in a couple weeks, and uh, really excited to go to the mansion again.